What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video. If this is the very first time you stopping by, welcome. I am the Mustang Hunter. I try to find as many Mustang variations as possible. This is my wall of Mustangs and when I can't find Mustangs, then I move on to all the other cars I like. A lot of times on my free at Friday, it's not going to be a Mustang. It's going to be something out of the ordinary because I'm just a car guy, so I pick up the ones I really like and I'll showcase them for you guys. If you want to check out more of those videos, look in the description box. I have my playlist for my peg hunting videos as well as those free at Friday. So hopefully you enjoy the content and stick around long enough to become part of the Mustang Hunter family by clicking that little subscribe button at the bottom and hitting that notification bell. As you saw in the thumbnail as well as the title, I did finally find more P cases. I posted a video last week and it was a very sad P case haul. I think I found like four cars and three of those four were fantasy was not good so I'm glad I was able to redeem myself with finding the ones I actually really wanted the only one I still haven't found is the 2020 GT500 um, that one I still cannot find anywhere um, I did find some older ones right here which I'll go over in a little bit but we're gonna start out with the new recolor of the 2016 Lamborghini Centenario Roadster in this really nice enamel red it's got the chrome RP5s which the last three variations have the rp5s as well as the black rp5s now the silver one is super clean it's more of like a factory fresh um it's out of the hot wheels exotics but the hot wheels roadster in white is super clean but as many of you guys know and don't know because you're new red is my favorite color so when any time a hot wheel comes out and it's a recolor of any kind of red whether it's this enamel red it's a red fire pearl or any type it's going to be high on my favorites list um, now, I definitely do think the red looks so much better than the white. Let me know in the comments what you think, which one out of these three are your favorites. Um, hopefully you guys choose red, but red is a really cool recolor for 2020, so super stoked to have that one. The next one is the 2017 Pagani Huayra Roadster in a lime green with a yellow pearl in it. Uh, it does have the gray 10 spoke wheels. Nice tampo work for the taillights, as well as some racing stripes down the center. Um, and the front headlights also have slight tampo work. Now this is the only Wyra I have as a Roadster. The other one I have is the Black Brembo, but it's the hard top. Um, and I don't know what year it is. It's probably the same year. They're very similar. Yeah, you guys let me know which year Pagani that one is. But these are the only two I have. I was really hoping to score on the Super Treasure Hunt, but that time will come I will eventually find it because I always go out hunting next one is finally the recolor of the 68 GT500 in a metallic pink with the orange flames on there uh, no tampo work front or rear that's just the way Mustangs are and it does have the chrome five spoke wheels now the other one I do have is the blue with the yellow flames which I definitely do like um, the pink is okay it's not my favorite recolor but it is what it is if it's a mustang i'm going to collect it if it's ugly or not and i've collected some ugly mustangs all right guys so the next one is this super nice mazda rx3 in a metallic green almost with a hint of yellow and i definitely do like this body style this is probably one of the best mazdas um, hot wheel has come out with and this one was my favorite for the longest time but this green is super nice it's almost like a pearlescent green and I definitely like the wheel choice those black steelies with the copper ring around it definitely ties in those tampos really really nice um, I definitely do like these square body years let me know down below if you agree this car is just super clean definitely do like it um, I'm not even complaining that there's, that there's no tampo work the card itself just looks amazing so definitely a good car for the P case all right guys so the next one is new for 2020 Finally, the 99 F-150 Lightning in a really clean champagne metallic. Definitely has some nice tampo works. No rear um, tailgate tampos like the blue oval or anything. It does have the chrome MC5s, the classic Lightning fender badge right there, and of course, nice tampo works for the front. Um, no fog light or lower grill detail, but it is what it is. This truck looks nice, especially with the card. Um, the overall package is very, very clean. I'm glad I was able to pick that up. Next one is also new for 2020. It is the Porsche 914 Safari in yellow. Uh, I definitely do like this one, of course. 
I do collect a lot of Porsche, so I'm always excited to put another one in the lineup. This one is a nice yellow. It does have the extra fuel tank right there, tampo in red, as well as one up top in white. Um, and it has the chrome off-road wheels. No front tampo work, but still a cool car. Um, definitely another cool lineup for the P case. The next one we have right here is out of the Hot Wheels Rescue. It is the custom 2011 Camaro with the wide body on there. You can see it's enamel red. It does have the fire rescue tampos on there. Uh, it's got yellow tinted glass, a yellow interior, black seat, and even on the door panel you can see it's a full roll cage. So they just didn't do the back roll cage right there. They actually did the door panels as well does have the racing net on the other side where the driver sits um, it is a wide body Camaro uh, the only thing I don't like is that huge blocky wing that does absolutely nothing um, but again Corvettes and Mustangs have that same one on the customs as well but that huge cow hood looks nice the Hot Wheels fire department tampos are clean um, and it does have the open hole fives in black with the white ring. This will go over on the Chevy wall eventually, so I gotta make some room for that one. All right guys, I had to turn off that light because it was kind of darkening things. Um, but the next one we have right here is the recolor of the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in a matte finished tan. Uh, it does have the Rubicon decals right there on the front, the Jeep, as well as black interior, gray beadlock wheels, um, and the black motorcycles on back. And it does have a nice smoked glass as well as the headlights that are attached to the to the glass itself. Um, I do like this recolor, but at the same time, I still think the red one looks much, much better. Um, let me know what you think down below. Next one, I was super stoked because I finally found the new recolor of the Toyota Tundra. This was by far one of my favorite trucks out of that whole lineup. I do like the red one a little bit better. Um, even though the white one does look nice, I still prefer that other color. Um, but now that they are releasing all the white variations of the Tokyo 2020, I am starting the new set. Along with that one, I did manage to find the 2000 GT, which was one of my favorites as well. Um, now, let me know which one you think is better. I think the white one is super clean, but I still prefer that color for some reason. I don't know if it's that burgundy and gold just looks really good together. Um, and the white and gold doesn't pop as much. I don't know, but I'm still super excited to have these recolors because these were my two favorite out of the entire series. All right, guys, so the next one we have is the Nissan Silvia S13 in a dark metallic blue with the gold and pink tampo works as well as the gold lace wheel. Um, does have some nice tampos on the back. You can see Silvia. There's nothing on the front, but I do like this recolor right here in that blue. Now this is the other variation I have right here in a metallic gray, um, which is also super clean as well. I really don't know which one to choose as far as my favorite. Um, they're both pretty clean in my opinion. And then also this ultrasonic blue Honda Prelude, the 98 Prelude with the chrome RP5s. This is another heavy hitter for me. A buddy of mine growing up had the same color Honda Prelude, the SI version, and it was just one of those favorite cars growing up. Um, I do believe it is a little bit better looking than the silver one, but I do like this new recolor. The blue that Hot Wheels comes out with is just phenomenal and looks amazing, especially under light. So definitely stoked to have that one in the lineup. The next one is a recolor of the Plymouth Fury. Not my favorite car, but I have the other variation in white, and I thought I had to pick this up as well. So it's not one of my favorites, but it is what it is. The other one I did manage to find is new, the Porsche 911 Rally from Matchbox in a copper brown metallic. Does have the 85 race series down the side, the tampos, and the nice, almost like Rally Sport wheels in white, which are off-road. Uh, I think this one's a little bit cooler than the Safari. Let me know what you think, which one's cooler, the Hot Wheels version of the Safari or the Matchbox version of the Rally. Let me know down below which one you think is better. I still think the Matchbox one's cooler. So this one's an old cast, old variation. I just passed it up weeks ago and kind of wish I picked it up because there was another one I missed out on. Um, but this is the Volkswagen Golf MK2 in a metallic teal with the gray split RP5s. Definitely do like those little rabbit type cars. Um, the next two are the Ryu Asada versions of the 91 MX-5 Miatas 
one in red, one in blue. Nothing too special about these, but I wanted these to go with the Miatas I have right here. I have the the Mad Mike as well as the yellow one uh, that was recently released a few cases ago. The next one is the 2011 Dodge Charger RT in metallic blue with the Mopar Tampos. Uh, the other one I have right here, right on top of the Hellcat, it's the 15 Charger SRT in silver with the Y5s, which I definitely do like, so I wanted to pick up another Charger variation. This one's the 2011, that one's the 15. Uh, I think the 15's much better as in body variation, but wanted to pick it up as well. Uh, this one I finally found, it is the Centenario Open Door or Moving Parts. Um, from Matchbox in a metallic gray with yellow. Oh man, this thing is so nice. I passed this up probably a couple months ago and regretted it because I've seen so many people post about it and it looks amazing out of the box. Now the next ones I did find are finally the new red edition, the Sand Blaster from Target. This thing is sweet. Uh, like I said, if it's red, it's going to be my favorite. The black one was my favorite for the longest time just because how tough it looked. But this red looks really, really nice, and I think it looks a lot better. So I got to find a way to put this one with that one so it could be the new recolor. And then finally found the red edition of the Custom 18 Mustang GT, the Joey Logano 22. This red looks awesome on this car. Now the one I did a review on was this blue one. This one is going to be another favorite. Um, these two are just one of those new releases that I actually really, really like. Um, that card work just looks amazing. So hopefully I can find the new 2020 GT500 as well as the Super Pagani. I want to find the Super Dodge Demon, which that one is super hard to find because everybody is hunting like crazy for that thing. But time will tell. I'll find it eventually. And when I do, you guys will be a part of it. But yeah, guys, not a bad haul. So I was super excited to find what I find and share with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Let me know down below which one of these was your favorite out of the P case that I have. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.